What do you got your jaws open for, Marjay? I love you. Admit that you're having a problem. I don't have a problem. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. We are getting closer to Christmas, and today is actually the BHB and the Reptarium's Christmas party. We are going to have an absolutely amazing time. Oh, and someone might be dressed up as Santa. Ho, ho, ho! We are geared up for a awesome Christmas here at the Reptarium and BHB. As a matter of fact, next Saturday, we're going to have from 6 to 7 o'clock, either myself or Chewy or Eric or someone is going to dress up like Santa Claus, and you can come to the Reptarium and take a picture with Santa and, of course, First, a beautiful reptile of your choosing. I'm actually gonna head over to BHB and play with RJ a little bit. You guys know that every now and then I like to jump in with RJ and I talked yesterday about behavior with animals and kind of how we continue to habituate our kind of relationship with them. And sometimes that relationship means I have to go in with RJ. You know, I'm always pulling them out, but being inside his pond is actually a good thing for me. Again, as he gets larger, I'm gonna probably have to come in with him a lot more because I'm not gonna have an opportunity to really go out with them. And as you can see, RJ just kind of sunk down here, just kind of hanging out, waiting for me to come in. Ooh, whoa. come on, buddy, it's okay. Okay, RJ, there you go, buddy. Oh. There you go, my buddy. There's my RJ. Look at how amazing he is. He is such a good animal. And again, I talked about like the habituation of these animals when they're younger. Things like touching their jaws and letting them know that it's okay for you to be in here so that they won't bite. Because again, a lot of times crocodilians, that's kind of a trigger point for them is actually touching their jaws. And with RJ, I never wanted him to bite at all. Whew. I tell you what, he's a little monkey right now. Uh, but as you can see, me and RJ just have an amazing bond and an amazing relationship. And a lot of that comes from just, again, thousands and thousands of hours of continual handling and understanding. Oh, you're a little silly monkey. What do you got your jaws open for, RJ? I love you. You know that you're just silly. But like I had mentioned, whether you're working with a monitor lizard, a snake, or a crocodilian like RJ here, it's all, it's all about continuation of just being with them as much as possible. The more time you spend with them, the better that relationship is gonna to continue to get. RJ, you're such a good little monkey. I tell you what I wanna do is, some people have asked like, what are you gonna do with RJ? You know, he's gonna live a long time. And I've always said like, hey, maybe one day Noah will take RJ. Noah has never touched RJ, never held RJ. So today, I'm gonna to try to see if I can get Noah to hold RJ for the very first time. Go ahead, bud. What do you guys think, give it a go? So the deal is, guys, is that Noah really does have a kind of phobia of these crocodiles. The reason being, first off, I know RJ is a super nice, and that's the way it is, but he does have a mouth that is really big, and I just, I use my hands, I'm a, I'm a video gamer, you know? So I need both my hands. I promise I, I would never hand you anything. It just gets me nervous. I know it gets you nervous. And listen, it's completely fine. I always tell people, Ooh. when someone's a little afraid of something, you never push it on them. So if, if Noah's like not willing to do this, I'm not gonna do it. But I think that you'll be fine. And once you do it, you'll be like, kind of like, oh my God, that was pretty freaking awesome. I mean, I've seen a lot of people hold them, so I know RJ's good. But. He is, and I, I swear to guys, I would not hand RJ to anyone if I, I ever wasn't in control, especially not my son. I mean, I'm certainly not going to do that too. So, you want to give it a go, or? Yeah, let's give it a go. We got to get over our fears, people. But so, again, you got to do it at your pace. So only when you're ready. So my, so no, my you're going to go cradle both both down just like that. So what I do with RJ, the relationship I have is, as soon as I hand him over to someone, I get near his front side and I look him right in the eyes, and I do it every single time the same way. And that's how I keep him really calm around people. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Now watch, Noah's gonna take him, which is completely fine. Now I'm gonna come around to the side, and I'm gonna say, RJ, you, you focus on me, you focus on me, and see how I can literally rub his jaws? That's something that I've kind of taught him from, right from the beginning, so he never thinks that's the time to strike. And then I'm just gonna give him a little tap on the nose and say, you're all set, RJ, you be good. You be, hey, you be good, you be good. He's building tension. No, he's fine. RJ, you're fine, you're okay. And that's it. There you go, Noah. What do you think? Can it be over now, please? Yes, absolutely. I'm just... Oh, that was cool. Oh, God. See. See. Oh, God. That's cool, huh? It was cool, but it just... 
I was getting a little nervous at the end. He was going like, what's up with you? But I knew he wasn't going to bite. It's just a mind thing. But that was yeah. crazy. That was awesome, though. See? Thank you, RJ. See? Just one Ooh. step. You know, we'll just keep on working on it. Before, <laughs> before long, Noah's going to be in that pond with his shorts on, swimming yeah. with RJ. Uh, you know what still blows my mind? There's a dude, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, Bubba. Yeah, Bubba. You worked with Bubba before. He's yeah. a big He's belly hundreds boy. Of pounds, hundreds so, of pounds. And literally kids ride him, so that's yeah. nothing compared to RJ, so we'll just work on it. Everyone knows that Lori is such a Christmas addict. It's not even funny. That's why we have like nine trees. Andrea actually surprised me, and you did a little decorating yourself. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah. That's so good. Even though we're all tropical and like 80 to 90 degrees in here, bringing Christmas to the Reptarium. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Let's turn out the lights and take a look at it. It. Oh my gosh, Andrea, this looks amazing. I love it that you did the trunk in a different color and then the top. That is fantastic. This is the first tree I've ever decorated by myself. Oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. You did a great job. Now uh, we could just decorate the rest now, okay? Got more lights? Yep. <laughs> yeah, tell you what, you gotta always keep the grind going. We gotta get some really cool Instagram pictures. I think RJ looks absolutely amazing with his little uh, upside down elf feet and stuff like that. So uh, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, go over at Snakebites TV, check it out, because you're gonna see some hopefully really adorable shots of my little elf eater. RJ. Definitely really excited about getting the ball python breeding season and really all the boas and pythons breeding over here at BHB. And of course we have girls like this GHI Mojave that are just on the cusp that we hope will breed this year. As well as this pastel leopard clown that's definitely big enough and looking gorgeous. But we have some really cool males that are just about up to size. Look at this bamboo combo here. This has got so much stuff and it's like bamboo, cinnamon, Mojave, all kinds of different things. It looks absolutely amazing and it's right on the cusp where I think it's probably going to breed this year. Look how cool this is. This is actually a pastel fire mahogany. Again, just a three bang animal, but definitely really cool. And I can't wait to see when we breed it into some other things. Should be really amazing. And <laughs> take a look at this. This is actually really cool. This is actually a pastel kingpin woma ball python. It just has some incredible patterns and colors to it. Again, we're going to have a field day this year. And this one's actually a pastel lesser bongo enchi ball python. That's a lot of cool genes together. Probably just one or two other genes mixed in this one and it's going to just be insane. So the point is we should be having a pretty exciting year this year with ball pythons and all the other pythons and boas down here. And some of you guys have been kind of opining for more BHB stuff. So don't you worry. Over the next few months you'll be seeing plenty of BHB in our progress on this year's breeding season. Hey Lori, I got to talk to you about an issue that I'm having. What? I got to come show you. Come follow me. What? You're always complaining about things with me with getting too many animals. What is this? What is this? What do you mean? You don't know what that is? What is it? What is it doing what here? What does it look like? It looks like another Christmas tree. How many Christmas trees are you going to have <laughs> this year? I think you have a problem. Listen, look, you can't tell me that's not cute. It is cute, this but is that's cute not the point. Hell. So are all no, the animals I get point. are cute. No, they're not. The point not. is, is the, the first thing to recover is admitting you have a problem. You know what? All I'm going to say is I have less Christmas trees than you have animals. Yeah, and I admit that I have a problem. Right, I have way less than you. I'm nowhere near problem Are you going to just admit that you're having a problem? I don't have a problem. You, this just shows up. I, I have less then I can count on two hands in That's Christmas not trees. True. Do we need to count how many trees we <laughs> yeah, have? Obviously we do. I don't have ten Christmas trees. No, you have nine. <laughs> Nine I have Christmas. less than you can count on 10 hands. That's not a problem. <laughs> she, she's got a problem. People, let me know in the comments if you think Lori has a problem. It's not a problem. <laughs> I, I, think she's, I think she's got a problem and, with Christmas. And, and mine is seasonal. So? So? <laughs> don't try to argue your way out of this. There's no arguing. It's a win. <laughs> no. I, I don't have you a have a problem. problem. Just wrapping up the last few things over here at the Reptarium, and then we're heading to painting with the twist with the crew to start our BHB and Reptarium Christmas party for the year. So we're at what they call painting with the twist, which means that you basically paint a bunch of stuff, and then they the drink wine. The so twist is the drinking. So these guys are drinking a bunch of wine, and, uh, and I guess we're painting. What are we painting today? Oh, we're painting a hedgehog. You helped pick it. What do you Oh, mean? that's right. I forgot. We're actually painting this. How oh, absolutely adorable is that? No, I just mentioned that this is just totally random that all the guys sat over here and all the girls sat over there. I mean, how weird is that? It's not, how
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's out. <laughs> Are you excited? I mean, do you I'm so excited. A little of Bob Ross, a little bit. Oh, yeah, the beard, the facial hair, just yeah, laid back attitude. Yeah, yeah. You know he what I mean? Some little happy trees. I will, little happy trees. And if you just a little smudge, that's a bird. Put him a little friend in there. I'm doing a little background here. This green it accents the blue in such a way. <laughs> I'm trying to get a creative spark going. I'm trying to get the juices flowing, if you will. Looks good. Thank you. Just wait till we start adding the special effects. What are you drawing? My art teacher, Harvard, told me long, gentle strokes. It's the key. This is my hedgehog. I'm calling it. A oh my God. <laughs> Jesus! Whoa! I'm still very confused about this right now. I'm just still very confused. <laughs> Certainly a wide variety of choices here. Uh, I need a little bit more here. Very, very hard. You know, I got one big foot, a little gravity. foot. <laughs> we have a stormtrooper. That's right. <laughs> Listen, you can't see this. It's still working in progress. <laughs> All right, so. Little little wrap up. We got Noah's over here. Oh yeah. We got uh, Eric. Oh, good. Eric thank good. you, thank you. This is oh. actually Lori's here. Oh look at that. That's cute as heck. Steph uh, went the other way on hers. Good job, Steph. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at Kelsey's. Wow, that's colorful too. Thank you. And of course Andrea's. Very nice. And of course the artistic. <laughs> Good job, guys. Well, this is the first time we've ever had a Christmas party at the Reptarium, but I think it's actually pretty cool. We got some good Italian food going on. <laughs> time to eat. Just have a good time. It looks like uh, there's a bunch of wine here, so it looks like they're going to have a good time. We got some trees. We do, uh, we do a secret Santa where basically we pick and you get them a gift. We have it capped at like 25 bucks. It's usually pretty fun, so uh, I'm going to get some food. So I literally thought this was a Christmas tree, but yeah. it's a present. It's a And apparently present. you're supposed to cut into it, so cut into it. I'm pretty sure a pirate gave me that. Look at that paper. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, let's get oh, festive oh, here. Oh, 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 no. forget that. Oh, my oh, my oh, that. Oh, Look at that. Dude, oh, oh, oh <laughs> that is a monster tree right there. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm just going to rip it. <laughs> oh, more duct tape? Another oh, mortar, dude! Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is for when we're going ice fishing, yeah. baby! Let's go! Hell yeah! <laughs> Some decorations for the house, baby! All right, so we're just having a great time here. It's so awesome to have the Reptarium, to have our Christmas party, and just hang out. I love it here, and I love the fact that we can do events like this. It's absolutely incredible, and we had a great day, and I hope that you guys have an absolutely great day as well. Thank you, as always, for watching. You guys mean the world to me, and I truly, truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Make a comment down below, because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone. I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.